Good morning and welcome to the Falcon Report. My name is Grayson. The stories for this week are Kindergarten Letter of the Week, Interview with some kids to ask them what they're thankful for, Interview with Miss with Miss Abby, the orchestra teacher. Interview with Miss Grandma about the kindergartner powwow. And the announcements. Over to your field reporter who is visiting your kindergartners. Thank you. Hi, I'm Melody. I'm here with the kindergartners. What are your names? Ada. Aiden. What is what is the letter of the week? I. I. What does it sound like? Eh. Eh. <laughs> what is the word that starts with that letter? Agree. A Imagine. Thank you. Every year, the kindergartners do a powwow and learn about Native Americans. We went to Mrs. Graham's class to learn all about it. At the powwow, we try and have a Native American celebration. At a real powwow, they do Native American dancing, and Mrs. Graham can't do Native American dancing. So we have our fun by making crafts. We make Indian necklaces. We make little teepees, design totem poles. We um, eat Indian fry bread, have our face painted, and listen to Native American music and stories, eat popcorn, hunt wild animals for pretend, and we, instead of dancing, we play duck duck turkey, which seems to be a big hit. All this week, the children have an opportunity to earn feathers for their headband, and they earn their feathers by showing great classroom behavior. They are working hard on showing us they are safe, respectful, and responsible. I just love watching the kids and seeing how much fun they are having, how proud they are of all their different crafts that they're making, and seeing them enjoy a little bit of diversity. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Mrs. Kagey. And I'm going to ask her a couple questions. How many years have you done in orchestra? I have been teaching orchestra in the elementary schools for four years. Cool. Why do we have orchestra? Orchestra is here because it's a good age when you're elementary school age to start playing an instrument. That way you can start young enough so that when you get my age you can be really good and music is really really good for you and it's fun so I'm excited to be here. Which grades can participate in orchestra? Orchestra is available for fourth and fifth graders. Cool. <laughs> Tell us about the different groups in orchestra. There are two groups in our orchestra. One is the beginning group which has has players that have never played an instrument before and then we have our advanced group for players that have played for one or two years. What do you hope the students can do after a year of or two of in protest in orchestra? I had hoped that after they would go to middle school and keep participating in the orchestra and then keep playing an instrument because it's really really good for you and it's fun. That's my favorite part about it is it's fun. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Since it's almost Thanksgiving, we are thinking what we are grateful for. What are you grateful for? My name's Sophie. I'm thankful for my family. My name is Britton. I'm thankful for my parents. My name is Alec. I'm thankful for my family. My name is Sam. I'm thankful to be with my family for Thanksgiving. My name is Sadie. I am thankful that I can go to school and wear shoes and I can sleep in a warm bed. Hi, I'm back in for the, to give you the announcements for this week. The announcements for this week are Kindergarten powwow is, is Monday, November 24th. Tuesday, November 25th is Meet the Masters Art Class. No, November 26th through the 30th is Thanksgiving break. We wish you all a safe and happy Thanksgiving. Yummy! Thank you. 
Thanks for watching the Falcon Report. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs>